Hello everyone and welcome to your online drawing course. Um, my name is Siri and uh, just want to say welcome and I hope you're all staying safe and healthy and I hope that this gives you something to think about while you're, you're in your houses at this time. So the first class um, is going to be a, a, an exercise in cross contour drawing um, which probably some of you have heard of. Um, if you haven't, I've got a very, very simple um, kind of diagram to show you what cross contour drawing is. Um, contour drawing is kind of when you draw around the outside edge of an object. Cross contour drawing, and here's my kind of slightly silly drawing, is when you draw lines that kind of describe the um, the outside of the form of an object. So you can see this is a this is a very flat glass, I and mean, you can see it's a glass, but it doesn't look three dimensional in any way. Whereas this one does, and that's largely because of these cross contour drawing lines. So which are these rounded lines and the ellipse, ellipses here. So we're going to be doing something a little bit more um, uh, complex than that, but that's the general idea about cross contour drawing. So for this exercise, you're going to need just a regular pencil uh, with an eraser. Um, you could have, if you, any of you have got charcoal um, pencils, great or even charcoal willow charcoal but a charcoal pencil is a really good one to have and um, for the final stage if you have ink fantastic um, ink and a brush or you could just use um, like a pen like this this is a identity pen it's, you know just a nice drawing pen and I was trying to think of um, what you might have in your houses um, that you know you can you can it will be easy to find, to draw, and might be interesting to draw. And I thought, well, everyone's got a pair of shoes. So uh, shoes can be really fun to draw because, they, you know, they've, they've got a lot of character. Um, I just wanted to show you what inspired me to do this project, which is a Van Gogh painting. Letter clogs. And it's a painting of some shoes. And he did so many of these paintings of shoes different kind of old boots and these these kind here and clogs and he was really into shoes and you can see how the with the brush strokes here he's using cross contour I mean we're not going to be painting but we can do this with our charcoal with our pencil fountain in the garden so here's another Van Gogh drawing and um, it's an ink drawing uh, though he did start it out as a pencil drawing, I think, and went over with pen and ink. He often did that with, his, with these kind of drawings. But there are so many different examples of cross contour lines in this, and um, I think it's a great one to look at. I'll leave it on the screen for a little while. Have a look at the fountain and the way he did the different planes of the fountain and the trees. And then space. A, a rather strange um, description of cross-contour drawing um, from this book, which is a, a great book about drawing. He described cross-contour drawing as, imagine a fly with ink on its feet, walking all over your face. <laughs> Here's what I have chosen to draw. Tall brown leather boots. My old boots. Seem like they'd be quite a good subject. And I think I'm gonna draw them from above because that might give me quite a good angle. Draws the instep. So I've just started out here um, by doing some lines around the edge of my boot and as you can see I've done lots of lines. It doesn't matter, you don't have to get them right first time. Um, I just want to get the sense of the contour. You can see some of these little lines that I'm doing across are actually contour lines to give the idea of the of the shape. This is particularly good for contour lines. This um, uh, buckle. You can kind of really use that to describe how it goes around the form like that. So you're just starting off really roughly. You can always get um, more fine, you know, when you've got a little bit more detail in. 
the shaft above and shadow below. So she shades the boot itself. Use, put a little contour into your shading, which um, can be quite good. And if you feel like you, I'm doing this with a charcoal pencil, um, I would advise starting with a regular pencil because it's easier to erase. You can even bring the eraser in um, just to kind of bring, you know, a little texture into where you've put the, your, um, your shading. So you can use your eraser as uh, a really good art tool, drawing tool. Adds more contour to the shaft, then erases the shadow. See, because I don't really like what I did here. It was the uh, shadow, and I, I want to make it different. So I'm just going to erase it back and uh, try it again. Or I might just leave it like that. I think it looks quite, quite nice. New shadow and more contour now added. So I'm really enjoying drawing this boot um, because there's just so much in it and you can kind of go, um, you can go into a huge amount of detail or you can just leave it really rough. Um, however you like, you know, whatever your style is. When you're doing a cross contour, sometimes it's hard to work out which one it is. And sometimes there are more than one. So like for instance, with this boot, it's kind of got this, sense of the cross contour but it's also got this sense so you kind of make your choice or you combine them both shaft um like here you see how i've started bringing some little lines here just to indicate the curve of um of the fabric and then i'm kind of picking it up around here and i'm leaving this because it's, there's some light there i really would have your boot somewhat or your whatever object you're drawing in good light um, because then you can kind of bring in some some um, nice tonal drawing as well. Getting to the end pretty much now. I think I'm just going to play around with the um, the background, see what I can do with it. And that will be that. Adds lines to the shadows. Varnstall Junior Arts Center, Department of Cultural Affairs. Two sandals and a flip-flop. Okay, well here's a Final quick little exercise for you if you want to do more. I've become obsessed with drawing shoes now. So I am I've started drawing these sandals with pencil and I'm just taking my pen and just um, going over the lines with a sort of um, it's, I'm not getting into any detail or shading. I'm just um, kind of giving it a quick sort of line and then I'm going to erase, probably erase my pencil lines. So if you feel like doing that as a little ex little homework exercise, I can't wait to see what you guys do with these and take it in your own special way. I'm sure everyone's got their own thing and I very much look forward to see how you interpret this and uh, have fun drawing shoes.